Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you've seen in the thumbnail today, we're going to create the first ever UX paper, and that is going to be drawn Excalibur. Eh? I mean, why not, guys? How can you disagree this? Even I cannot, guys, because you just look at that man. This is actually looking like Excalibur. If you see this bailer for the first time, you will definitely say, bro, this is actually Excalibur bailer. But it's not. It's actually drawn Buster. But still, guys, if you just replace the face with Excalibur or any Excalibur sticker, this day bay will definitely turn into Excalibur bailer. Or you can say Excalibur Buster. But still, now it's officially. Oh, I Let's just quickly make this paper with cardboard and I hope the performance will be definitely epic. Let's go. Okay, fully dried up guys. Hi. And here we go, here we have our new Excalibur <laughs> I mean drawn buster Just kidding guys So guys, I want to share something with you all So to be honest, this time guys, I was not able to print the accurate size of drawn buster Not only guys drawn buster, but also Hell's Hammer and Wizard Rod So I didn't notice this guys, but then at the end guys, I realized that the size is actually bigger than before So yeah, if you just compare this template with a real bear, I mean the we I mean with the real drawn buster bay So yeah, this template will look bigger than the real bay bear. So yeah, this time in this case, I just uh, messed up a little bit with the size But still guys, I can't waste this template only because of incorrect size So okay, I will make this better guys, if the size is inc incorrect or anything anyway <laughs> And guys, as you all know that Drone Buster comes with the new Ratchet 1, I guess. So yeah, guys, Ratchet 1, which actually looks pretty much like the Strisk of Excalibur. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah. Okay, guys, now I am going to make the Ratchet 1 of Drone Buster using another Drone Buster template. You might be thinking how, so just watch, watch the full video, guys. Let me just show you how it's done. Here we go, guys. Here we have our new Ratchet 1. I know it looks a little bit weird, but still, I mean, it's actually looking like a hard trip, guys. Just look at that. Okay, let's just quickly just prepare our Ratchet 1 because I don't have the time to prepare the ratchet one in other way this is the only way to finish this ratchet in easy way actually and sorry for my English guys I'm not that much great in English just watch the video don't focus on my voice I just use my voice to explain what I want to show you okay do it Looks like guys today I am really going to face huge struggle while making this drone buster baby because the weather condition is not good guys you can clearly see in the video the video quality is getting a little bit dull right now guys, the condition of the weather is not that much great guys as you can see let's look at the sky guys fully white and yeah guys don't use too much glue on the template otherwise the, the color of the template will come out oh yeah the sound of the sky Okay guys, let's just quickly keep it to dry here. Okay, let's go. Let's just quickly prepare our rack. A few moments later. Wow. Five minutes later. Wow. A few minutes later. Subscribe! Wow, fresh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Do it! Yeah, guys, every time I just get stuck while making this circle. Yeah, guys, just taking out the air and some extra water because it's ice cream box. You know, this ice cream box was in the refrigerator for so long so yeah little bit wet so need to dry it up and make it fully solid and So here it is guys, here we have our new Beyblet UX Drawn Buster Beyblet template and yeah guys looking very shiny and colorful as well. So yeah let's just quickly turn it into an actual Beyblet and yeah very very excited to see the performance. So okay let's just quickly dye it. Let's go.
Okay, here you go, guys. The template is on the way. Let's just quickly shape it, guys, and just give it a perfect sharp look, sharp shape, you know. And guys, okay, let's just quickly also prepare the ratchet, guys. This time, I'm going to do something different. I will prepare all the cardboards. Then, at the end, I will do the shaping. I feel like, guys, I'm spreading butter on bread, something like that, using soldering iron. Oh, so yeah, we just have a small issue here, guys. So I think, guys, the ratchet is looking too much thin. So I think I need to cut another cardboard template. Okay, let's just really cut another one using this. Yeah, now it's looking okay in my opinion. Okay, the ratchet is also done. But now it's time to do the shaping, guys. So let's just really shape the layer and the ratchet, and then at the end we'll make the bit. Okay guys, so look at that guys, just look at that, looking very very accurate like the real one from the front here. But yeah, if you just look at from the side, it looks very very like cartoon something. Any I then finally we'll make the bed. And guys, let me know what you expect or should I make next, wizard rod or uh, hell's hammer. Okay, here we go, the ratchet is also done. Now it's time for the bed. So yeah, guys, as you know, guys, the new UX skillet that comes with the new bed is actually a little bit thicker than the previous one because it has almost 16 gears on it. So yeah, guys, it is a little bit tough for me to get. So guys, at the end, I will I will use this case to make the bed because guys, I really try try to find those uh, thicker beds. I mean, thicker uh, marker pen heads, but I couldn't find guys in online. So at the end, guys, I have to use this. I have no other any choice. So yeah, let's just quickly use this to make the bed. Sorry, guys, actually my cutter is not sharp enough to cut the plastic, but still, let's just quickly make it. And yeah guys, if you really want to get some satisfaction, just try to do what I'm doing right now. Just take a pen head like this and just do what I'm doing right now. Cut like this and you will really get a satisfaction feeling. I mean satisfying feelings. And yeah guys, it's very very satisfying to cut this small strip from the pen head. Here we go. And here's our new axial bit. Yeah, looking very very thin. But I have, the, I have no other choice guys. I have to use it to make the bit. Okay, so we'll just attach it inside the baby layer like this way. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to use blue color this time. Don't need extra colors. What? What? Aha. Why didn't I use this color before? Oh, oops, oops. Oh, just need to use a little bit of alcohol. Here you go. Yeah, fresh and cool again. And here you go, guys. Finally, we are done creating our new favorite UX favorite drone poster. Let me know your thoughts, how it's looking. I tried my best, guys, to keep the accuracy. Let's just quickly try to uh, assemble the bay. I hope it will assemble properly. Let's go. Oh, super tight. And here we go, guys. Here we have our new drone buster Beyblade UX Beyblade. Whoa, wow. Look at that. Yeah, guys, from the bottom, it's looking very, very different than the real one because, yeah, the bit is not actually the same like the real uh, Excel bit. As you know, I messed up with the size, so you can clearly see, guys, drone buster is looking much more bigger than this Phoenix Wing Beyblade and Unicorn Sting. Look at the size, guys. Too much big, guys. So, yeah, just messed up with the size, but still, who cares, guys? So, just let's just see the performance. So, very excited. Let's just pull it to a spin test and some test battles. Really excited to see the performance. Let's go shoot and go shoot. What man launcher broke? Do it. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, and go shoot. Here we go, guys. Oh, extreme dash. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. Pretty much aggressive, guys. Okay. And versus drone buster. Ooh. Boost finish. I think it's drone buster. Oh, go Phoenix Wing. Let's go. Oh, sick hit from Phoenix Wing, just look at that, wow, shoot, go, Phoenix Wing, oh, ring out finish, 